Hey everyone, so welcome back to another video and this is one of the most awaited videos you everyone was asking me regarding so this video you are going to talk about the stage 2 training or domain based training of Cognizant okay so we are going to talk all the details is going to happen the mode of training and is there any exam in training how the marks are given how to prepare everything so before moving on if you are new to the channel just do subscribe to the channel and like the video or also you can join our telegram group from description link uh, first thing is like what are the different domains you can expect and when you can get your domain so those who have done intensive previously for them first domain was allocated then their stage one training was started then they had their foundational exam but for you guys the last batch of intern and csd also they had their foundational exam already okay because they are like first stage training was given online and some uh, materials were given and the exam was already done so their domain is still not allocated so whenever you will be getting your doj okay you already have your tentative doj so after joining uh, the office after joining full time you will be getting your uh, domains first okay you will be getting allocated to different domains and domains will be completely random okay requirements they have whatever domains they are uh, in demand or in business requirements right now they will allocate students to those particular domains according to their wish okay uh, and then there will be given some schedule for that training uh, there will be allocated some uh, materials there might be some Udemy lessons as well or there might not be there might will be some uh, guide who will be teaching you the different different uh, technologies the theories and practicals both okay so this will be the domains allocation and domains training process and yes you have to go to the office this is going to be a physical mode training and not virtual mode and you have to attend the meetings and all and there will be a training on your particular domain okay the next thing is uh, to change your domains or not so this is uh, particularly based on uh, them okay so if you have a uh, particular knowledge in some language suppose you are getting a testing domain okay uh, but you want to have a java full stack domain so if you have already certifications done on that particular domain or like what you want like if you have a full stack if you have full certifications done on that you have good projects on that as well then you can show them and they might uh, take some interview and if they think that there are some vacancies on that particular uh, java or full stack domain that is like it is just an example i'm giving like like if they think there is some vacancy or demands are there and they can and they can allocate you to that particular domain of your choice then they might change your domain okay but if they think that they cannot uh, allocate you to, to whatever domain you are asking they will just continue you with whatever domain you have got originally okay so and also one more thing uh, i'm going to cover in this video is uh, that there, there are going to be two separate exams okay so marks are going to get calculated and all i'm going to tell you in my next video okay i don't want to drag this one so i'll be posting the next video within few days already so like within two three days i'll be posting that okay so that will be regarding the how the marks are calculated what if you do not pass okay how the exams are done okay but i'm just saying you there will be two exams okay so there are one is interim evaluation and the last one is final sme evaluation okay so this is basically there will be two uh, interviews and two projects you need to do so you need to make a project you need to show the project and to the sme that is the subject matter expert and there will be some interview they will be asking you questions regarding your projects as well and regarding your technical knowledge of that particular skill as well like whatever domain you will be getting trained on and whatever uh, platform whatever technology you will be using they will be asking questions regarding that as well so this is going to be your uh, particular uh, interim evaluation 